Trinity represents the Milton Keynes Arm Wrestling Federation and he is a standout. Six feet tall, this man is a huge welterweight. Enormous potential and a powerful hook. He brings the danger. His opponent is Chris Ham. Hambo hails from Darwin, England, representing the freak shop. This man is a shorter athlete at 5'10", 72 kilograms in body weight. He is the reigning British national champion. Ryan Finity, confident, smiling athlete. This guy's got massive power inside. Could be an acid weapon to take out the reigning number one in the UK at this division, Hambo, Chris Ham. These men, no strangers at the arm wrestling table. They've met many times before, and we've seen it swing either way. Who will get first blood here at XL, the SETI Combat Sports Show? Frustration from Ham early. Listen to instructions there from his teammate Ted Wilson, telling him not to run, to engage in the match, and to explode off the hit. Such a weapon for Chris Ham is that massive, booming top roll attack. There you go. There it is. Opens the hand and wrist. Now he does gain hand control. Running foul for Ham. Frustrated there. Had hand and wrist control, but. Ray Infinity driving him off the back. The strap applied. This may be better for the man from Milton go. Keynes Arm Wrestling Federation, but again, his hand and wrist have been sacrificed. Now, Finity is powerful from there. But it's a nice, controlled, waiting and baiting game there from Hambo. Chris Ham hanging on to it, waiting for the breath. He'll try and walk and adjust, does so there, recloses. There's a little bump from Ham. Walks again, this is better. Little drive to the back of the pad, he's got total hand and wrist control. He's walked almost to the end of the hand of the powerful Ryan Finity, but that drive must finish it, and it does, it's Chris Ham. First blood and smart arm wrestling there from Ham because I'm pretty sure he could have finished that match earlier. But listening to the instruction from his cornerman of the free shop, hang on to it, blast that wrist, burn that wrist, then you can get it in future matches. Ooh. Yeah, we're dropping the wrist as well because he's driving for it. You just give yeah. him all the time, just watch back at pad. Yeah, I know, mate, I'll ball there. Yeah, what are you doing? He's a wingman. Wingman. Yeah, just stay on it. Off the yeah, time. yeah. But you need to get. Most importantly, is your wrist to wrist. You are really far away. Oh there. yeah, yeah. Get yeah. your wrist under here. Yeah. Just out of camera shot there, little Ben Ham ran up on stage to congratulate his dad through the security and straight onto the stage. Ben Ham, a proud youngster, and his dad is winning here in London. Ready, go. Big drive, and that's better. Vintage Chris Ham, booming hit. No breaks. No miss of the goal there. That was straight on the money. Watch this. Big drive off the start, and it's smooth as silk to the pad. Chris Ham with a very impressive second pin. Yeah, no, he's not. He's not got outside. No, no, no. You're just flipping his wrist every time. Yeah. Dropping the hand a little bit. What? You're just dropping his hand a yeah. little bit and flipping. It's yeah. Not that easy, man. Just watch you don't get too low on your shoulder. Know. You're going quite low. Come yeah, on. With the shoulder. Need to stand up a bit. Stand up and attack him. So you got a bit more side. Now. Yeah, yeah. Can't stop that top roll there. Stop. Just keep coming lower and lower and lower then. So every match set up close to his wrist. I'm close trying to. to. His wrist. Yeah. He's but gonna... If he fights, just put it away. You just keep coming down on it. Keep coming in on it. Ryan Infinity feels his arm strength is the difference here. If he can connect with Chris Hammond, I'm pretty sure he's right there. He's a bigger, naturally more solid individual. You would expect to see him at middleweight. And look at the arm strength there. I mean, Chris Ham is on the run. I mean, he knows about it, drops the match there. And that's a wise decision. Nothing to lose too much there. He was on the runner and not in a good position, so to continue fighting from there will have burned him more. And he's reliant on that hit on the top roll attack. That does give Finity a chink of daylight, and he's back in this match. That's all you need to worry about. If he turns you out and gets onto your fingertips, he'll have you. If you can keep pulling them into your hand, then you have him. Chris 
this hand must be Big careful risk. that he doesn't become too complacent mm -hmm. here. He got off to a great start, but he needs to finish the game here at the Seni Combat Sports yes. Show. Arm Wars Lethality, an excellent lineup of top class European arm wrestlers here. His elbow is right at front as well. Very interesting battle. Complete clash of styles. Wrist, yes. Chris Ham concerned about that wrist, needs to settle. He's more concerned about the grip than he is about his own technique. Chris, quite a nervous athlete. Sometimes underperforms as a result of that, but he is dangerous. And if he can just settle, get back to what he knows, could be a good day. And that is a great hit. Chris Ham now takes it to three and he can't lose this arm wrestling match. When Ham gets out of the blocks, his top roll is lethal. That naturally long lever and a very posted, high-handed style makes it almost unstoppable. He's just trying not to fight it. Just, I'm not trying to fight really it. It's just that when I, he cranks him, he strains his wrist. His elbow's at front, so he can't come my way. It's, it's, it always looks uh, like I'm going his way. Because like he's like right at front. Yeah, he won't. Because yeah, he must. He must. He lacks drag across. Yeah. So his elbow's right at front. Oh, that's that's better for you anyway. It's better for me. Yeah. Just so that I have to keep lowering my arm. Yeah. To let it go. What? Referee's grip will always benefit the faster man. Ah, yeah, okay. So you don't want to be going there. You need to just get in your position and just hold it. Just get it into your hook position. So as soon as he hits, he's going to be hitting into your strength. If you catch him even, if you catch him here, you'll beat him. Anywhere you catch him in your strength, you're going to beat him. So you need to set up ready to catch, to catch him where you right. want to catch him. Yeah. Very sound advice from the technical Matt Preston. One of the head instructors at the Milton Keynes Arm Wrestling Federation. Super experienced and we've seen him in action Ready here go. in the Super Series. Oh, a young oh. man that can really arm wrestle. Big elbow foul from Hamilton. Start there. Matt serving an ace into the net. He gets another bite at that one. But this is the last bite. He must be careful. Focused. Chris Ham. There you go. Big drive. Hits that drive. top roll. Can't finish. This looks like it's going to go into the strap. Chris Ham looks to Ted Wilson in his corner. He needs to keep that full hand, not invert his own arm. No move. No move, guys. Closes down the hand. Needs to watch Ready the Finity on that drive Ready forward. Ryan right. Finity. That is exceptional. Carved his lower palm in and completely bone lined Chris Ham. Push that on the replay. There it is. Little carve. Bone lined Ham. Ham has nowhere to run. And as soon as he sits up and takes a breath, it's like playing basketball, straight to the park. You want to get back in the strap? Yes. OK. You need to come ready loose and really is exaggerated. He's going to do the same. OK. Yeah? If you come out too far, you might even go for a hook. All you're doing is hit him this way. OK. Yeah. Hold up. Put him pull down. Same with... But what you're doing is you're letting him... He's bone wrestling, right? So he's on the extreme of the arm, right? If you just bring it in a little touch, right, he can't do that because he's going to turn inside your hand. So you've got to make sure you're a little bit more composed. So as he does that, he turns into your hand, right? He knows that now, and you can do it. You've got more power. Keep it inside. Do it, yeah. I'm going under. Do that. Yeah. Yeah. Rod Lynette in the corner of Ryan Finity saying, you're the man with the power. It certainly seemed as such from that last start. The arm strength of Finity is a weapon. The hit of Ham is one that may be equal to it. Big drive. Running foul called on Ham there. Very, very dubious that one. I would have put both men on the runner, but the referee's closer to me than me, and we will go into the strap match. Ham is on the runner. One foul to Chris Ham. He does lead this arm wrestling match. Three pins to two. B oh, completely missed the start. It was off his bone line before it began. And Chris Ham will be disappointed.